Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and um, I just thought I'd show you a little quick update on the Amstrad PCW project uh, I've got to speak quite quietly at the moment, it's actually gone 12 I've um, been working on this for a couple of hours now and I've completely lost track of time but I just thought I would show you a, um, a quick update on it before I um, call it quits for the night as you can see I've actually got pretty much everything now installed in here um, we now have the keyboard connector, if we have a look on the front there and we can actually we get the Amstrad uh, PCW keyboard that now connects on like that we've got um, the video controller board that I made at the back there and what I've had to do is I've basically I've desoldered the DIN connector off the keyboard and um, run a few wires off it and mounted the control board there on one of the little um, tags that was left in this case I've run the cables over to the uh, video processor board obviously because um, if you remember in previous videos what we've done is we've um, parasited the power from the keyboard connector over onto this board which um, basically um, drives the uh, monitor and then the keyboard um, connector then connects through that back to where it should go on the uh, motherboard so it just fa basically just steals 5 volts to um, use for the video buffer circuitry there um, we have the power supply all properly connected up now and we have the disk drive um, connected up I made a little adapter board, I don't know if you can see it very well let me see if I can zoom you in if you look just down here we've made a little adapter board now I've had to cable tie it actually to the corner of the disk drive just to keep it safe so it doesn't short out on anything I will probably do something slightly better than that but basically it just takes the cable off the old power supply through a couple of pins and it just breaks it off to the 5 volts going there to actually power the board and then another separate 5 and 12 volts to um, power the disk drive up there and we've mounted a, um, a yellow phono plug on the back there for video out and that's pretty much it um, I haven't so far actually got it to boot yet I'm now having issues with the disk drive unfortunately I'll show you what it's uh, I will show you very quickly what it's doing though let's um, zoom out and um, we can actually put a disc in now so we put that copy of local script in and if I switch on it helps if I actually switch it on at the wall if we switch on you can see it does actually start um, the disc drive but it's not actually trying to read the disc unfortunately it's gone back to doing that that it was doing before where it's just um, it's flicking the screen and then the um, time, it'll time out in a second it is at least seems to be syncing um, more on the disc than it was last time it wasn't working so I'm not sure where the issue is yet um, we're, probably, we're probably going to have to pull all the boards and everything out again unfortunately but we do have everything nicely mounted now exactly where I wanted it and it does all fit so all we've really got to do in the next um, in the next instalment of this is sort out why the disk drive is no longer um, booting, and then maybe look at breaking out the um, disk drive key signals to a little um, 25 pin DIN on the back there, so we can interface it with that uh, with that three and a quarter, that three and a half inch um, disk drive that I've got as well. But I'm like super super pleased how all this is actually fitted together and. I will have to modify. Where's the case going? I will have to um, just perhaps trim one corner off the case there just to get the, the back to fit on properly. But it does do as I wanted it to. It does go together like that. As we can see, it just gives a general idea what it's really going to look like when it's finished. There we go. As we can see, it does go together really quite nicely. The keyboard. So, and I will probably use a different monitor that will just sit on top of it like that. I'm not actually sure where this is going to live. It may go and live down in my um, office. I might actually use this in my office. It'd be quite cool to have down there, actually. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, as you can see, we have made some progress. 
like I said it definitely all does fit in this case I'm super pleased it all fits in the case we just need to address that disk drive issue now I'm sure it's going to be something very very simple um, but I'll have a look at it in a, um, in a later video like I, said, I just thought I'd show you um, exactly how far we've got so I'm going to leave it there for now because this was a really really quick video and it is, um, it's half one now so uh, sorry half twelve now so uh, I really must uh, finish this and get to bed so I will say uh, Thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.